course, the uh, French and Egyptian uh, entourages. Side by side there. Well, there's no other room left, is there? <laughs> but uh, Marwan El Shabagi, obviously based in Bristol, and Lucas Cern, the Frenchman, was based there at university, now lives in Czech Republic. Gregoire Marsh is uh, going to be playing golf with you, apparently, uh, in the next few days. Absolutely, yeah. You off to the golf simulator. We have a 9 a.m. tee off tomorrow morning. Oh, right. I thought you pulled the muscle in your back. I did, yeah. So you've healed within 24 hours. <laughs> I made a very speedy recovery. <laughs> That's unbelievable. It's <laughs> fantastic. Well, talking of recovery, let's have a look at the Egyptian Ali Farag because he was certainly feeling the effects Bravo. of the brutality of this game. And the first few points, I want to really watch his tee position, see how far up in the court he is. And there's another unforced error. One love. <laughs> and out, one off. Well, as we've said before, Joey, these kind of matches come down to certain stages of the match that are pivotal and so crucial for the outcome. This right now, the next three to four minutes for me are just so important. Whichever Huge player lead. can get off to a good start, I think uh, will come out the eventual winner. Well straightened, he did enough on that. Mathieu Castagnier, you could hear the grunt of the Frenchman. Got enough racket on this ball to get past Ali Farag. Again, look at the massive lunge of the Egyptian. It's starting to add up though, isn't it? Well, he's bending over continually, returning serve. He's in a lot of trouble physically. Clever change of angle. Decision frag. Yes, left. Two off. I do feel that um, just going back, that just reminded me of a refereeing decision earlier on that uh, when Farag was given a let ball. I do feel that the, the referee, sh they, sh they should have a, another revamp on when a player's coming in. It's, you know, we're talking about the lines and, and the different lines, but also the, the, the position of their swing. So when a ball's taken in short into the front, a player comes up behind the player with his racket up like Exaggerated. This. I mean, you're never going to be able to get down and play a ball that low. No, that's that right. Needs to, they need to see that and understand that. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. You just don't go in and play a shot like that. Yeah. It's impossible. So it's therefore, right. you know, it doesn't matter if you're standing behind the opponent with your racket up there. You, the ball's down low. So it wouldn't actually equate, would it? Well, it by would the it. time you get there, yeah. no chance. No, I, I agree. It's a couple of errors creeping in there from Farag. It's two so far from Farag. Two unforced errors for the Egyptian in the early stage of this fourth game. Oh, 
this is a brutal rally. It's one stride away there, the Frenchman, to let ball. As Ali Farag starts to fatigue here, Joey, I, I just feel as though he's going into the front of the court slightly too much but at the moment. That's a sign, isn't it? Yeah, that's of course. a sign of somebody feeling it physically, feeling it physically because they want yeah. to end the rally as, as quickly as they can. Sure. I mean, every time you look at him on return of serve, he's bending over and he, he's, he's, he looks in a lot of discomfort, and he is. Yeah. Again there, the, the, the front court. Yeah, taking, taking it in too short, too early. Dear, oh dear, because yeah. the, the court is becoming massive because of the quality of what these guys are doing. There's grunts from Castanier and from and Farag. I mean, that shot was a terrific get from Castanier, but uh, Farag neatened up nicely. But it's a lot of, you see here, he's done a complete diagonal and then another court sprint. So although Farag's won that rally, it's a huge amount of work for him. It's uh, perfect timing for a, a nice uh, glass of champagne there. <laughs> the spectators. Sorry, I missed that. What was that? <laughs> there was a waiter just walking along the back wall there, serving the, uh, <laughs> serving, <laughs> serving some and of the VIPs. Alma Shivana very quickly declining. The uh, the, the free bubbles. <laughs> it's another one. Seven three. Well, body language is certainly telling a tale here, Joey. When you look at both parties, Castanio can't get into the service box quick enough. He <laughs> senses that's going to be, be a stroke. A stroke. He senses that Farag's struggling because every time he's, he's returning serve, he's bent over double. But that's the killer instinct, isn't it, with the players? When, when, one, when one's starting to feel it, the other one, although yeah. Castanier, don't get me wrong, is, 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 is in a lot of discomfort, but he's got the adrenaline rush because he knows that his opponent's on the ropes and then you just can't help but start to march around a bit. It's a lovely shot, though, from Farag. So Castanier chatting to himself. Five, he doesn't want uh, the Egyptian building up any type of momentum and getting closer on the score line. Again, it's a complete repeat of the last rally. So Castanier's gone a bit walkabout mentally here. Six eight. start to wonder, Joey, the significance of that minor comeback from Castanier in that second game. 8-1 lead Castanier. Ali Farag had. If he'd have got Castanier off court quicker in that second, he may have had some more energy to push forward through the third and fourth games. I wonder if that could be a contributing factor here. Sounded like you called him Mr. Frog there. I think uh, Ali will like that nickname very much. <laughs> no, I don't think he'd like to be called the frog. The frog. <laughs> Sounds like Kermit the frog when uh, the central referee says it. Seven, eight. Well, PJ just uh, spotted uh, Jackie Joyner Kersey, one of the legendary track athletes from back in the 80s when you were in your prime. <laughs> she can uh, certainly appreciate the athleticism of these guys in this match, that's for sure. This could be another stroke. Well, I think that's a stroke. 
However, this does bring into the point that you were making earlier, the, the urgency of the racket preparation. Just watch this again. It's a fine line between natural preparation and... Mm, I think it's still a stroke there. No, that is definitely a stroke, but the, the point is made, and we made that point when it's very low, the balls are hit very low, and a player comes up around the shoulder area. This is unbelievable, though. Ali Farag's managed to sneak up eight all. How he gets that cross court. court is unbelievable. It's glued to the side wall. He's controlling the pace very well now, Ali Farag. Now it's Castanio that's physically starting to fall to hit. Well, he's going to push hard, though, the Frenchman, because Farag is using a lot of height and just trying to control that tempo. He's got to keep the pressure on Andrew Castanier. He needs to stay in front of Farag here. Change of height there from the Egyptian. It's going to be a, it's let, ball. Be a let ball, hasn't it? Yeah, it is a let ball. No let. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, he's got to review that, surely. Yeah, well, he shouted review. After some of the pickups that we've seen from well, Castanier. It's a let ball. I mean, We'll talk it through for the viewers anyway, because it's all about the, the lines, OK? So let's have a look at the line. It's about the line here. He's been given a no-let because of the line. Now, he's moved his... He's not blocked him there, but he's moved his hips into... Watch how he rotates his hips around Castanier. Uh, sorry, Farag rotates his hips around there and kind of slightly shuts Castanier out. That's got to be a let ball. That's a very good overall. Good decision there. Yes, that decision overruled. Castanier has one review remaining. Eight all, right box. Crucial decision well, there. It's massive, isn't it? But this is where the video review is, is so, so important. important and yep. when players wait to use it for the back end of games rather than trying to use it in the beginning, risk losing it. Oh, it's a great width. It's a very, very good width there from Castanier. Yeah, this could be a stroke. It's going to be a stroke. It's got to be a stroke. It's got to be a stroke. It's a horrible decision to receive as a player after some of the pickups there in that rally. Was this second attempt from Farag? No, no, no. That's a, that's a stroke all day long. Just, just, just the point that uh, Castanier was making. Oh, he faked it like what? Double pumped, as it yeah. were. No, I mean, that's, that, that will be a stroke. That can't be overruled. He can't hit the front wall here. He's gonna. It's dangerous play, isn't it? He can't. He just would wallop Castanier. Yeah. Stroke decision upheld. Castanier has no reviews remaining. Nine It's a massive, massive unforced error from Farag. And out nine all. Huge on the back end, Wally. Oh. oh, he stitched oh. himself. He stopped his swing. He was obviously worried about the ball being tight. He wanted to get it cross court, but he stopped his swing and hit it back on himself. So squeeze there from Farag. Match ball for the younger Egyptian. Dear, oh dear. Decision. Decision for our... Yes, let. 10-9.
Peel on the pickup. Oh, the pickup was good. I think the pickup was fine. Good. 10 9, match four. In the pickup. Another okay. quality rally again, though, Joey. Oh, no, it was, wasn't it? Such entertaining squash. So, match ball once again, that ball being played. Brilliant length. Oh, it's wonderful. Look at the screen there from Tasmania. Hey. Oh, my goodness. That was snapping on that, the line through. Just had enough and on it, didn't it? All, a player must win by two See points. Each player how he is able to available. stretch himself there, Farag, but it just had enough kick on it past the racket of the Egyptian. So locked in at 10 all. That's a clever shot. It's a good shot there from Farag. He will appeal, I think, Castanier, but I don't think. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, oh my goodness. It does say, uh, it's extraordinary the way he's saying Farag's name. It's coming across to me as Frog. What do you think, PJ? Let's see this again. It's probably a let ball, actually, seeing it. I think that's a let ball. I think that will be upheld. It was a decent shot from Ali Farag. Yeah, that's going to be a let ball. So it is upheld. Yes, let decision upheld. Farag has no reviews remaining. Ten off. Oh dear, oh dear, what well, a response. That's an unbelievable response. The service not quite there at all. Match ball. What a response. So match ball for the second time for Fantastic Farrick. Decision. Yes, let 10, 11. Video review, Castanier on the yes vote decision. Well, Castanier thinks there's no interference. That was the first <laughs> word he said here. I think this will also give the centre referee a chance to get the score right here. <laughs> there's a bit of a panic there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's sufficient interference there. He swung. I think there definitely would have been contact as he goes through. Well, it's I can see Castanier's point here a little bit because it's like... I don't think there's a huge amount there, but I think they'll go. Oh, wow, there you go. It's been overruled. No left decision overruled. Castanier has one review remaining. So that's uh, a massive call. But uh, looking at that, there wasn't a huge amount of interference. So you think it was no let? No, 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 no. I'm not talking about this. You let me talk. We are watching the movement. Mr. Frag, it's 11 all. Let's play on, please. In the same spirit that we started the match. Close the door. He's about to serve. 11 all. What Farag's saying, what he's saying to the central review, he's kind of saying that Mathieu Castanier is kind of blocking with his body. I think that's uh, not necessarily the case, but we're at Levin all. So he saved two match balls, the French warrior. Oh, he went for the cross court nick into the bottom of the tin. You see the, te the, the frustration and the. He was tense on that ball. 12 11, game ball. Oh, he's got it. Mathieu Castanier has got it. 11 wins to Castanier. Two games off. Mathieu Castanier has fought back once again. 64 minutes of very intense, very nervous squash. It's brilliant, though. And it's Mathieu Castanier that takes the fourth 13-11. Two games apiece.